Right, we'll call this part two, because I've taken the front end apart and we've established which bit is broken in the universal joint or coupling so that one wheel is still connected to the motor and the other one isn't. The problem we now have is the motor at the back is dead and I've just been through my junk box and I found this one that's got a black end cap because the one in that end had got a black end cap in it so I thought I'd see if I could find one of the same. The only thing is I've no idea whether this is any good like all the other stuff in my junk box. So, uh, well, we'll find out in a minute. Let's take this one apart and see what we can do. So even if I fix the motor in here, it still won't fix the car because it's only three-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive. And that's quite amazing the difference it made. It just would not climb anymore over the slightest slope. It needs the grip of all four wheels. You going to come apart now? Yes. Okay, so basically the same as the other end. Reduction gear, small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear. Is that even the same size? That looks looks a touch shorter to me. Maybe not. I'd better see if this one works. I'll just put a battery on it and see what happens. It's all falling apart at the moment. No idea what it was on originally. Those look particularly burnt out. I think this is probably a dead one. Well, I'm surprised. Probably here it is working. So uh, yeah, I'll desolder that. I mean, if nothing else, at least we can see it run again. Even if it's uh, completely dead, uh, uh, completely useless. Let's just put that on there and see if I can... Oh yeah, because we're going to drive the other motor, but not this one. While we're waiting for the soldering iron, we'll see if we can get the crown gear, crown? No, pinion gear off there. Hmm. That was easier than expected. Interest, will it fit if we put it in there? Oh, that's a bit worrying. The brush tag just broke. Looks like it will fit anyway. So that's a start.
So it's going to be fun. Just a thought, I could actually swap the end cap over. I wouldn't need to do any soldering at all then. Screwdriver. Screwdriver is now buried. Yep, there we are. A bit there. So take that back off there because we can't swap the end cap. Well, actually, we could have done, but Grandad's waffling to himself, just ignoring. Right, that one's just metal, well, metal, just brass brushes on it. Let's see what this one is. Uh, I'm just trying to think, somebody, Fat D Man, I think it was, suggested just buying some 130 motors and swapping the end caps on them so you didn't need to take the car fully apart or the gearbox uh, I'm waffling, that isn't exactly what he said it was about the brushes it was if the brushes were good brushes in there then you could swap them Yeah. You're waffling, Grandad. We're talking about carbon brushes versus um, brass brushes. And this is brass brushes anyway. And that was brass brushes, which look pretty dead, don't they? I wonder if that's all the problem is. I wonder if this is any good. It's well chewed up on there. I might just see if I can clean out between the commutator plates and see if I can get it working. All right, this is all getting a little bit more complicated than I want it to be. Because I'm just trying to see if we can salvage the original motor. Oh, yeah, they're completely different, aren't they? That was the one I was going to put in it. This is the original. But I'm just wondering if it's just the brushes that are dead. So I'm going to try and swap the brushes around. Right. <laughs> this is a bit more complicated than I intended it to be, although in the end it's simpler. What I've actually done is replaced the burnt out brush, uh, whichever one it was, that one, with one from the other motor that I just brought in. And now, if I tap the power on it, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's working. Pop the gear back on. So it wasn't the motor burnt out, it was just the brush. Brushes burnt out. So, we should be able to put that motor back in there and it should work. Right, I've just put the motor back in. I haven't done any of the screws up yet. But we have success. But <laughs> it's still only three wheel drive until I can figure out something to do about the. Um, universal joints at the front end. Have I put them on the right way round? 
Yeah, look okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, how have I done that? <laughs> Can you see what's wrong? Somehow I've reversed the motor. Ah, I know what I've done, because I took the brushes off. I put them back in the wrong order. Right, okay. I'll take it apart again and swap those wires over on the brushes. Right, desoldered and resoldered. Let's see if the wheels turn the same direction now. Good. Right, so just a quick test on the floor. So, forwards. So it works, but we're not four-wheel drive anymore. So it will struggle to go over bumps. Let's make a bump for it. Yeah, you see one, the wheel that turns was able to grip, the other side didn't. Right, that one doesn't turn. That one. That's the one that doesn't work anymore. But that one does. So We got a three wheel drive rock crawler. That'll have to do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.